Hi, welcome to the Diocese of the Central Gulf Coast tutorial on Facebook. If you will first go to your internet browser and type into the ad address bar www.facebook.com and it should bring you to this page or something that looks similar depending on any updates that they have done. And if you are new to Facebook, you will need to go to the section that says sign up. It'll be pulled up there on your screen just like this. And I have already put in some of the information that it asks for. First name, last name, um, a valid email. This is one of my emails. Um, it asks for a passcode. Those are the dots that you see. Um, but without this information in there that I've already put in there, it will say passcode. It will say email. So it, it will... Um, ask you for what for what it needs. Um, birth date, um, and they need that because you do need to be, I believe it's 13 or older to have a Facebook account. Um, male or female, I'm not sure why they asked that, but there it is. Um, and then you've got the big um, sign up button. You do have to use a valid name for the sign up page and somehow it seems to know if you don't because I tried to put Elizabeth um, Gulf Coast and it did not work. <laughs> Um, so you do have to use a valid name and a valid email address. You will not see my mouse move around in this tutorial, so I will be describing what I am pushing and where I'm going to next. So right now I'm going to go ahead and click the sign up button, that big button down there at the bottom of the screen. And now it's going to take me through several steps to set up my Facebook account. So first is finding friends and one way that you can do that is through looking um, through your different uh, email accounts and so you can click find friends on any of these. I'm, I am going to go ahead and skip this step for now but you could see it recognizes um, I have well I have Hotmail, uh, Gmail and I have Outlook. I don't have Yahoo. It's just putting some of the major things on there. If you use other email services, it can look for those too um, if they're on your computer. But I'm going to skip those and just go ahead and hit next there at the bottom. If you go through there and look for friends, you just click on the friends that you want to search for on Facebook. And it's saying, really you want to skip this step? Yes, I really want to skip it for now. <laughs> as I am just setting up an example account here. <clears throat> okay. Now it's telling me, welcome to Facebook. You can find friends on here. Again, that's saying through the email. Um, get to know your privacy settings, which is definitely very important. But I'm going to take you through some of the basic navigation very briefly here. Um, First, you see up to the top left here, um, you see my name, Elizabeth McWinney. So if I click on that, or if I click way up in the top blue bar, you see Elizabeth. That will also take you to my page, which is different than the home page. Okay, so I'm going to click on my page, Elizabeth. And this is where you're going to see things that I post you're going to see things that people post on my page if I allow that. You can you could set your page so that people can't post things on your page. They can tag you in their posts or something like that, but you, you can make it so that they cannot post on your page. You can add a photo and you would simply um, click on add photo for your profile, which is always a good idea. Helps people to find you. And you can either upload a photo or you can take a photo. If you upload a photo, it will sim simply take you to your desktop where you can browse through your files and pick a picture that you have on your computer. I will click on take photo so that I won't be taking you through all my folders right now. Yes, and I'm going to tell it that it can use my camera. <clears throat> I have to hit allow over here. There we go. Hello, and since I have a, um, I'm working from a laptop, it has a built-in webcam, which most laptops do now. Um, if you're working from a desktop, you probably have, have a webcam or you need to get a separate webcam that you attach to your computer. But if you've got a laptop, um, 
or an iPad, something like that is most likely built in. So I will just click Take Photo. <laughs> okay, it took my photo and I will hit Save. And now my picture's in there. Okay, I can also set up a cover photo, same thing, but I'm going to go ahead and skip it, which is just a nice big photo um, on your page up at the top. So you could put all kinds of things in there. Now there are, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. It's trying to take me through putting information in, which is great. I'm going to take you through some of this. Um, but if you are new to Facebook and you're especially wanting to get this so that you can participate more fully in the convention this year, um, one of the first pages that you're going to want to find is the diocesan page. So see this white bar up here at the top of the Facebook page is a search bar and you can search for people, you can search for organizations that have Facebook pages, um, you can search for topics really. So I'm going to put in here the Episcopal Church, and here we go, in the Central Gulf Coast. You can see that's us with our um, seal. So I clicked on that, and it took me to the Diocesan Facebook page. But it does not seem to be fully coming up. Let me try to refresh that. Uh, oh, I have to complete my sign in in order to be able to do all of this. All right, after a quick pause there, I just had to go to my email account and confirm that I was creating this um, Facebook page and then it would let me continue to fully function in here. So now you can see there is um, functionality here on this page. I can see posts on the diocesan page. Here's the latest Coastline newsletter. Um, which always gets posted to Facebook as well as being sent out in emails and then just different posts put out about whatever is going on in the diocese. Okay, so uh, I want to be able to uh, see anything that the diocese posts. So I'm going to select like, this like button up here on their background photo there at the top. So now I am following this page. As I stated before, you could go to your page or the home page, and those are two different things. So now I'm going to go to the home page now that I am following, now that I like um, another Facebook page. Going to go, go to home. Okay, and uh, because they haven't posted something in the last two seconds, there's nothing to show here. But normally, your home page is going to show you news feeds from, and it's called a news feed, from all of your friends that you are connected to, um, and, uh, and the things that they post or that they suggest, whatever, will show up right here. So you can just scan through what other people post on this page. You can see what you post on your home page. So let's say you want to look for somebody. Um, you could try putting in their name. Sometimes people set up a lot of privacy, so um, you may have to ask them what they what they have in there as their search name. Uh, but I will go ahead and put myself, um, my other account in here, uh, my regular personal account, so that here I am. Okay. And now I can friend myself, which is really strange. All right. And you would put on, instead of like, since I am a person, you would hit add friend. And now my new example account is connected to my personal account. But that is how you search for people up in there. There are also lots of other ways to search for people. There's a lot of exploring to do a lot of different things that you can do with Facebook. But basically what you want to do is um, post things on your, on your page. So I'm going to go back to myself, or you could do it even on your newsfeed. So um, 
I can click on home or I can click on Elizabeth. I think I'll click on home this time. And you see it says up top here what's on your mind. So I can say I'm excited to be here. And I can post it so that only my friends see it or so that the public sees it. Or maybe I do it so that only I could see it. And there could be other uh, options depending on the group of friends that you've created and then that sort of thing. Okay, so I want to make this post public. So I'm going to let anybody who wants to see this. Normally, I only post um, things that my friends can see as I usually use Facebook as just a personal sort of thing. Okay, and then I just hit post. And now anybody can see what I've just written. Okay. You can add pictures to a post simply by clicking on the add photos or video. Um, and you can do all of this from your page as well. Okay, so I'm going to go to my page. I could see all kinds of things I have in here. And I can post my status right there still excited <laughs> to be here and I'll, I'm going to keep that public and I'm going to post that. I could also tag somebody in this post if I want to make sure that they read what I have written. So I can tag myself because I'm friends with myself. If I could spell my name correctly that would be fabulous. Okay, and I should be tagged. I didn't see that pop up, but uh, normally a list of people you could choose from will pop up as you start to type in somebody to tag. And then you post that. Okay, so just play around. There are a lot of things that you can do, but do know that about making posts public or private. And then also, you need to know how to set the privacy on your account. Oh, you'll also notice up here on the um, the blue bar is a button that says Find Friends. Um, and so that is uh, another way to search for people. Just put in names and look for people that you're looking for. You can also see it says People You May Know, and it's suggesting people to you. So you can look there. Okay. You can <clears throat> send private messages to people. If you hit on the message box, um, it will let you send a new message and it will prompt you to fill in somebody's name and then you can send them a private message and nobody else can see that but the person that you send it to. So I'm going to go here. I've gone to the down arrow up there at the top. I'm going to go to settings. And this is where you can put in all kinds of stuff about your privacy. If you'll look over to the left here, um, clicked on privacy and ask you questions you, to help you manage all of these sorts of things. Who could see your posts? Who can't? Um, friend requests. Who can send you a friend request? You can do all sorts of things with your privacy. You can block things. Um, so be sure to take a look through that notifications, all kinds of things. Do you want to get notified every time uh, via email, every time somebody posts on your wall or something like that? Um, you may not want to get any notifications. Maybe you just want to be aware of Facebook when you're on Facebook and otherwise you don't want to be aware of it. Um, so you can make sure that it does all of that. So the place that you go, I'm going to go back up to general here, which is what you first saw and where you're going to set in. Um, you could see that you can uh, set a username for your page that is different than the name that you used for your account. So even though I had to use my real name for my account, now I could have my username be Elizabeth um, Gulf Coast or whatever I want it to be. So you can edit that and you could see where it says edit over here to the right. You just click on for any of these things, you click on that and then you can change what you want. So be sure that you look through that um, 
and f and take some time to look through all of the options for how you set your privacy and that sort of thing. Okay, and you can see there's also a setting for privacy shortcuts where that little um, lock icon is up at the top right, and you could set a few things that way. Um, if you see this little world up here, that's the notification setting. So if I click on that, I'll see I don't have any notifications yet, but if somebody tagged me in a picture or in a post or posted something on my page or liked something that I posted, um, anything like that, I get a notification in it right here. And that's how I have mine set. So all of my notifications are right there. And I don't get bothered with it in my email or on my smartphone or anything like that. So you could set all of these things. Um, and there's so much that I can't really get into it. I just want you to see where where to go and you need to play around with that. Okay. But you can um, post about the Dossus and Convention. But if you want to see um, what we're posting, you want to go to the Episcopal Church in the Central Gulf Coast, and that is where a lot of pictures and videos and comments will be posted throughout the convention, and then you can make comments on those posts. So you see for um, the newsletter that's right here, right below, you can hit like if you want to like that. You can make a comment about it, so I'll comment in here that this is a terrific newsletter. And now everybody who goes to this page will see this comment. And you can even hit share. And you can share uh, right away on your page or you can share and make a comment. If you just hit share, that will give you the chance to say, I love this, whatever you want to say about the post and post it to your own page. You can make it public. You can post it just to your friends. Again, that sort of thing. So I'm now posting that on my page because I really like that newsletter. All right, so those are just some of the basics uh, to get you started. And if you have any questions as you are setting up your Facebook page or trying to become familiar with it, you can do simple Google searches for um, tips on using Facebook and you'll find plenty of videos out there for that or you can contact us at the diocese. Um, you can contact me Elizabeth at elizabeth.cgcnews at diocgc.org and I'd be happy to walk you through it. So welcome to Facebook. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy the convention this year.